Speaking from both sides of his mouth. Not for me, anyway. Well, I think we should uh, give him a chance, you know, watch events unfold for the next uh, couple of weeks before we form a definite opinion. Look at you. I have better things to do than live on another man's fantasy. Why do you think he wants us involved, anyway? Huh? When he can pull it up all on his own, if it was that lucrative. Well, I think some people are just nice and altruistic. Look here, Cliff. I'm a busy man and you know it. I have smarter ideas of making money. <coughs> and that's what I intend doing anyway. <laughs> well, I still think we give him a chance. Well, you can do that. What that for me? Hey, watch it, man. Watch it, man. You're driving past my house. Uh... <laughs> hey, Mark. Excuse me, man. That's right. Say bye-bye, John, tonight. Uncle, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye, my dear. All right, man. Yep. Oh, 
Did someone spoil your day? Come and sit down and let me get something to drink. Look here, Eunice. I don't want any drink. I want children. Children. Children for Christ's sake! Lad, what is all this? Why are you talking to me like this? Because I married it to give me children! You know it's not my fault. The doctor said there's nothing wrong with me. Then give me children or there's no point! Look here, Ines. This has always been your style. But let me tell you something. The only way this marriage will continue is for you to bear fruit. Period. Yeah, I mean now, now what's in the happen? I beg. It's not for us, I guess go inside. Please. She's going to see us. Okay, okay, well, let's go. Okay, go in and come on. It'd be like, say, Jesus won't dust my kids fire. Oh, you know I don't like suspense. Eh? Please be serious. Nat gave me a blank check. Hmm. Um, then, feeling 64 billion naira only. <laughs> Listen, Nat said if I can get pregnant for him, mm -hmm. he will divorce that his useless wife, and I, Ellen Fatusi, will become his first lady. <laughs> What's you? You're joking. The deal was sealed last night. Eh? You see, I told you, men are like children. You only need to pet them a little and you get whatever you want. So, what are you waiting for? Oh, is he, is he not ready for the action yet? Bola, mm. I'm afraid. About what? You know the last time I flushed, the doctor complained about something. He said my fallopian tube was ruptured or something. Ah! Awoya. That is serious. He said they will need to perform a very complex operation on me, otherwise I can never get pregnant. Hmm. Very serious. And you have to get married to Nat. Now or, or never. never. You see? I... Hmm. I don't know what to do. Ellen. I have a suggestion. Eh, hey, what? Faraburuku Bale. Go bank on Buruku Sara. I know a doctor that can give you fake pregnancy. How? Ben. It's called. Pumping. I've never heard about that before. <laughs> now you've heard. Look, all he's going to do to you is to pump you up, make you look like a pregnant woman, and you get married to Nat right away. <coughs> Bola, babe. <coughs> you are it. <coughs> A mere moti ya bit of a dog. Oh, trust me. Right away now. It's unfortunate he feels that way. But I'm not particularly surprised. Nat has always been in a hurry all his life. After all, this quarrel has been on every week in the past one year. This one is too sorry. It's so strange. I'm sure it's under his spell. <laughs> spell? Why do you think so? I guess there's another woman. 
and he seems to have made up his mind this time. <laughs> Come on, Eunice. Come on. You don't have to be. Listen, I advise you to go back home. Things will sort themselves out. Matt might be impulsive, but I don't think he can just send you away like that. Larry, I'm scared. The dream. The dream. You don't have to be superstitious. Listen, life is no bed of roses. Remember, Papa used to drum that into our ears? From the way he was acting, I cannot continue to stay under the same roof with him. Look, Matt might just come back begging for his rashness. That's him for you. Acting before thinking. Come, come. I'll take you home. Okay? It's all right. understand how this works. Now, that injection will stop you from menstruating. But at the same time, it will stimulate the hormones for pregnancy. Now, the result is that your stomach will be enlarged and all the symptoms of pregnancy will be present. I hope this will work. Come on. <laughs> and look, I've done it for so many people before. Trust me. But what if I wanted to stop? Ah, yes. You take this two times a day for 23 days. And this one, now, make sure you eat something before you take it. Huh? Once a day, you take it also for 23 days. Okay? Then your period will start. And all the symptoms of pregnancy will disappear. <laughs> But what if my man wants to be sure that I'm pregnant? Ah, still simple. Yes. You come to me for a positive pregnancy test. But he has his family doctor. Ah, come on. But a pregnant woman like you should be able to choose our doctor, wouldn't you say? Huh? Now. getting married to my new wife. 
our five years of fruitless marriage is over for good. Now I know I am a man, a real man. My new bride is proudly pregnant for me. I'll be gone for three weeks, within which time I expect you to arrange to quit without a fuse. I wish you the best in your new life. Now. <sighs>
name my ex wife. Matt, don't be so reckless and rash. I mean, you don't wake up one day and send away your wife. Okay, uh, please. I don't like this. I think you should be healthier if you stay away from me. Now you listen. I can't sit here and watch you ruin your life. Nathaniel, I can't. I think on the contrary, you are the one that do not care whether or not my life is ruined. What? Yes. Do you realize what they're saying? Yes, of course. You are aware that Eunice has not conceived after five years. And you have never bothered to sympathize with me. Not. Yes, indeed. You have children. And you are so selfish that you do not care whether or not I have. And you come here to tell me about ruining my life. Honestly, Cliff, let me tell you something. I don't like this kind of caring from anyone, please. Not. I'm sorry. I mean, I never saw it from this light. Honestly, to God. But you know it in your heart of heart that I love you and you next. You know it very well. You never thought of the harrowing pains I go through watching you play with your children. Who call me uncle? Honestly, please. This matter is closed. I want to be called daddy too. Well, as you know, I'm happily married now. And uh, in the next few weeks, I'm expecting my baby from my new wife. Good day. Oh, Mama, go to the Miguri party. Oh, Mama, go to the Miguri party. Oh, Mama, go to the Miguri party. Choose between Ngede and Kelebe. Baba, I don't understand. But you want a child urgently. You must understand, my daughter. Because the raffia tree pours all at a go. <laughs> but a palm tree drops slowly. Papa, all I know is that I need a child to keep my marriage. And somebody recommended you, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> I won't disappoint you, my daughter. I will give you Kelede. I will give you Kelede. I will give you Kelede the quick one. Ngede. Ngede is clever and is stubborn. That was why Kokuma and Agere disowned him. Kelede. <laughs> but he never bothered. He never bothered because he's a strong one. Kelebe, my daughter, are you prepared to carry the load of Kelebe? 
Baba, I need a child and I don't really care what happens. By the way, what is this? Uh, what is Kelebe? Take this, my daughter. Smear it on your body before you sleep with your husband. After nine months, you will be a proud mother. You can go, my daughter. Eunice, you are not eating your food. Something is troubling you. I went to the hospital today. Yes. I went for a routine check and... And what? The doctor said I'm pregnant. Pregnant? Are you serious? That's what he said. God. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So my sister is not barren after all. Larry. So you two thought I was barren. No, 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 no. You see, Father used to tell me that you are the only person I have in this whole world. I thank God now. I have some others. Oh, God. So what are you thinking? You think I should go back to him? No, 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 no. Of course not. You won't go back to him. Even if he comes here begging. He must never know you are carrying this baby. I will raise this child like my own child. Okay? That will do anything to have this baby. I will do everything to frustrate him. I will make sure he does not come into this house. In fact, he's not even fit to be the father of my nephew. Eat your food. It's okay. Eat your food. Thank you, Lord. Alright, 
Take it with peace. Free like this, you go here. Say, no, it's got to be like your father. Huh? <laughs> All right, bye bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that reminds me. I saw Eunice yesterday. So what? She has a son born about the same period the twins were born. What are you trying to tell me now? What, what oh, come on. No doubt the boy is your son. Even a blind man can see that. Cliff! She was apparently pregnant when you sent her away. Look here, I don't like this, Cliff. All right. Just one of those odd duties I have to do for my friends. You can forget it. But it can't be true, Cliff. Not the problem with you is that you're in so much of a hurry, you miss the point. But she was barren. Oh. Barrenness is a state of the mind. Anything can happen. Whatever be the case, I don't bother because I have a boy and a girl. Two beautiful kids. All right. Forget this matter. Okay, forget it. Let's talk about it. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, <boy>. Thank you for coming. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. You see, I told you, you see, trust in God. He will never fail you. Indeed. My woman is not a mother. I don't mind them. <laughs> I brought this for the baby. Oh, Justine, this is beautiful. <laughs> thank you. That's all right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Josephine. You're such a wonderful friend. Oh, really? Thank you for all your support. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Eunice. Yes. I hope you're considering marrying again. Marrying again? Yes. You're still young. Or... How long do you want to continue waiting for a man that doesn't care for you? Josephine, let's not talk about that for now, please. What of your husband? I hope he has given his life to Christ. <laughs> Evangelist Eunice. Ah, his is yes. Lord. <laughs> oh, the baby is getting <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
When I go to the classroom, the teacher... Ah, hold it, Pedraster. I don't get you. You mean my children stole money? Sir, that is exactly what I've been trying to explain to you. Sir. Headmaster, you know it's impossible for my children to steal. I don't know why you're doing this. Exactly. I give them so much money. Even you too. And you know it. Sir, as a father and a headmaster, I cannot tell lies against kids. Paul stole the money and hid it in Pauline's bag. That's all right. Let it end here right now, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye-bye, sir. Good night, sir. Good night, madam. Paul and Pauline, you heard what your headmaster just said. Did you steal money? You know you can't ask them that. Shut up, woman! Answer me! Ah, you need more money, eh? Then why didn't you tell me? Okay, I know what I'll do. By tomorrow, I will increase your money. Don't let me hear that anymore. Right? School. To be mocked? Look here, woman. I have never stolen all my life. I don't know where they got this kind of habit from. What are you trying to say? Did you hear that I, 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 I was a, a, a thief? Oh. Eh? Hello. Can I see your mommy? Sorry, sir. My mommy does not live here. Okay, then let me see your uncle. I don't have any uncle, but my daddy is at home. What? If I see you in this house again, I'll break your head. Now get out! Get out of this place! Nonsense. I'll tell you about him later. Was he not the same man we saw? 
Yes. We'll talk about it much later. remember you did not believe me. I have seen the boy. And I think I now believe you. <laughs> I knew it would happen one day. Cliff, please, I need that boy back. Uh, go ahead and take him. It's not so easy, Cliff. The uncle would not let me in. Then, go and beg units. That's exactly why I need your help, Cliff, please. All right, Nat. I'll see what I can do. Please, do it for me, and I'll never forget it. All right. See you later, man. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see you later. Hmm? Thank you. And now come and see me at the supermarket. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <clears throat> looking as if you've seen the devil. Abba, children must play pranks. This one is getting out of hand. And the worst of it is that their father is putting the whole blame on me. Nat, why? Why would you allow Nat to blame you? That's Nat for you. Always jumping into conclusions. Hmm. Bola. Yes. Um, remember what I told you that Baba said that time. We didn't talk. He asked me if if I was able to uh, if I can withstand um Kebe Kele Kelebe Kelebe. I didn't understand what it that meant. Kelebe ke. Shangbafo. If not that Baba has died since, we would have gone to meet him for explanation. No. I still have a feeling that this children's behavior is related to him. What do you mean? How can children whose father gives so much money steal money? Are you asking me? I suspect that Baba. I still see him mocking me in my dreams. Uh, 
Papa, all I know is that I need a child to keep my marriage and somebody recommended you and that's why I'm here. I won't disappoint you, my daughter. I will give you Kelebe. The quick one. Ngede. Ngede is clever and is stubborn. That was why Kokoma and Agere disowned him. <laughs> Kelebe. But he never bothered. He never bothered because he's a strong one. Kelebe. My daughter, are you prepared to carry the load of Kelebe? Baba, I need a child and I don't really care what happens. By the way, what is uh, Kelebe or Kelebe? <laughs> Kelebe, what is it? <laughs> don't eat your tongue, my daughter. Shut up, boy, Jare. How can you talk like a child? Well, Jack Banyatino, anyway. Helen, one. What about that um, contract you said you were going to secure for me? Bola. What I'm talking about is serious. This is serious. So, what do I do? Actually, I am granting you this audience because my sister told me you were nice to her in her turbulent days. No matter his wealth and social status, I still consider Nat a despicable character. I can understand how you feel, Larry. But can I assure you that Nat is repentant now? I heard his children are wayward. That is why he wants my boy. Oh, certainly not. It's just fatherly love and responsibility. I see. Mr. Clifford, I'm afraid Nat is a hard sell. I don't envy you. You see, my sister is now happily married and lives in England with her husband. I don't want to remind her of Nat. Oh, well. Okay, that's it. Thanks for the audience anyway. It's all right. Yeah. What about the boy? Oh, where is it? Boyo. He's such a wonderful boy. At 13, he's already in senior secondary school. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Tell Nat, if he wants to see the boy, he should contact my sister. If she agrees, I will have no choice. I won't forget this meeting. It's all right. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm grateful. Take care of yourself. All right.
Oh my God, girl. See yourself? I see your dead father. Oh my God, look at that. Why? See yourself? You see yourself? Why? What is it? Don't stop that nonsense. Enough of it. Don't tell me that nonsense, woman. What's your duty in this house? I don't know. You don't know? You give me some thieves as kids and you come here and tell me you don't know. It's your responsibility as well. Oh. Do I tell them what to do? Eh? Do I tell them what to do? Are you not the one that spoils them? Then, excuse me! Uh. Suspicious characters. Hey, what's your big mouth, huh? Poof, yeah, are man. you mad? You are talking to me like that. Yeah. Oh ho! I know your father. Mm. Um, <clears throat> you can go. You can go, Sergeant. Mm. Let him go. Constable, come on, this is road now. Uh, teach him how to behave. As, as
baby, and I'll show you gonna visit. Really Damn right, baby. My friend. Hold on, hold it, hold it. What did you get here? Who are all this drugs? My friends. Friends? Yes, Daddy. No, hold on. Leave my brother. What are you doing? What are you doing here, my brother? Let me out. Hey, yo, Paul. Dad! What did you do, Dad? Where exactly? From school, of course! Where else? I got information that you were not in school. Look at, look at this. Look at that. Stupid, useless children. You're not even ashamed that your half-brother is now a graduate at what? the age of 19. But, Dad! You never told us you had a half brother. You're right. If you always thought it was all real. Rumors! My friend, uh, throw that cigarette away. I'm talking to you, throw that cigarette away. I said, throw away that cigarette. What, what is happening? My friend, you better make this your useless children behave, otherwise, I will shoot them. You will shoot your children? And I will shoot you along with them. I mean, don't make them behave. Listen, it's our joint responsibility. So stop blaming me. What are you talking about? I've never been a thief. I've never been a drought. And I make sure I, I, I provide for all of you in this house. And you, Pauline. I hear you now sleep with every boy in the neighborhood. That's your daughter. Something so bad 